I, and I wonder if that cop that just went by <laughs> noticed uh, how nice that shifter was. I don't know, but if he turns around, I'm going to have What's up, everybody? This is Scott with 512 Garage, and I'm back with another video. Today, my good buddy JT, you know him as Cars Guys, is coming over here in his Laguna Blue Z06 so we can do an MGW shifter install. And it will be my second MGW shifter install in two days. So I'm getting pretty good at it. I've done three or four of them already. So we're gonna do another one for my good buddy JT. This isn't going to be a step-by-step how-to video on installing the MGW shifter. There's actually one over on my good friend Horsepower Obsessed channel. Him and I put an MGW shifter in his C7 ZR1 and I'll link that video down in the description and it's more of a step-by-step -step type video. JT decided to get the flat stick in anodized blue uh, to put in his C7 Corvette. So that'll be cool. Um, I haven't done a flat stick install and uh, I haven't seen a lot of them on YouTube. So you guys are gonna get to see uh, what a flat stick MGW looks like in a C7, very cool. I told you that his car is Laguna Blue and I believe it was a one year only color but you guys correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Now you guys know the C7 Corvette came in a couple different versions of blue. Of course, there's Admiral Blue, which is the traditional Grand Sport uh, blue color. There's Elkhart Lake Blue, and then there's Laguna Blue, which to me might be my favorite blue color. But you guys judge for yourself. If you've never seen a Laguna Blue C7, just wait till JT gets here. It really is a special color, especially out in the sunlight. Now, before JT gets here, we've got to move some cars around in the garage here so we can make room for his Z06. Now it's warm outside and uh, the air conditioning is on in here. So if I can clear enough space in here, we'll be able to bring his Z06 in and uh, we can do the install right here in the garage. All right, you guys, so first things first, let's get the C5 fixed roof coupe out in the driveway first. And uh, then we can move on to getting the C7 out. I don't know if you guys have seen this car yet, but this is the car that started the channel. And let me squeeze inside here. Yeah, so most of the mods that were done to this car, like these Corbo Evo seats, were done on the channel. And it is cammed. If you haven't heard it before, you're going to hear it now. Okay, I think he might have some pizza inside, so we gotta fill this belly before we get to work. But guys, look how beautiful that car is. Just gorgeous. All right, so we gotta arrange the cars here. So now we're gonna pull the C7 outside and we're gonna get a cold start again. I know, are you guys tired of the cold starts of this AWE exhaust? If you are, let me know. Now I put the touring back on, so it's no longer the track exhaust, but man, it still sounds, it sounds good. I can't even talk. I'm so excited for how this is gonna sound. You ready? Such a sweet, sweet, beautiful sound. All right, you guys, as promised, JT's Laguna Blue Z06 is now in the garage. Check that thing out. Look at this color. It is just beautiful. If you haven't seen a Laguna Blue C7 in person, it has to be probably one of the best colors you can get on this car. And if you don't already subscribe to Cars Guys, that's his channel. That's JT right there. 
There's a link down in the description if you want to see more of this amazing car. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to be putting the MGW shifter, but not just any MGW shifter. We are putting the flat stick shifter. Check this out, you guys. How cool is that? And the color, uh, it's pretty close, pretty close to that Laguna Blue. So that's going to look really good inside the car. Now, just like the other MGW shifters I've installed before, comes with everything you need here and uh, really, really high quality machining and parts. Look at that lower box, you guys. Beautiful. It's like a work of art. I'm always so bummed when we have to cover something like that back up. Got some dyno mats, some heat insulation. They send you a shift knob, pretty generic shift knob here. We have the alignment tool and, uh, and all the hardware that we're gonna need to get that shifter in his car. So again, like I said, this isn't gonna be a step-by-step -step video. I'm not gonna show you every part of the process. You can hop over to our good buddy, Horsepower Obsessed channel, and you can watch Justin and I do a step-by-step -step install of an MGW in his 2019 ZR1. So let's just, uh, let's get started tearing your car apart. Absolutely, let's do it. I've never saw anybody smile after saying we're gonna tear your car apart, but I think he's excited to get that shifter in. So the first thing we need to do is we have to get all of this out of the way. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, you guys, so this is now all clear. We've got the shifter out, you can see here. All of the center console pieces are now removed. And the next step is to get the stock lower box out of the car because we've got to transfer the uh, rod here into the new lower box. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right guys, so I told you this wasn't gonna be a step-by-step, -step, but one thing I do wanna show you is swapping over the rod from the stock lower box onto the MGW lower box. And it's a pretty simple operation. The first thing you need to do is remove these two Phillips head screws and uh, you pull this cap off and the rod will come right out. And if you're doing this to a car that uh, you just parked, it is going to be warm. And I don't know, JT, what, this was sitting for like 45 minutes? To an hour, yeah. To an hour and, and it's still very warm in our Corvettes. So once those screws are out, you can pull this little cap off and then the rod will slide right out like that. All right, so the kit provides you with most of the tools that you'll need. This T-handle here is what you'll use to remove the four bolts from the lower box. All right, so there you go. Once you have the bolts out, you can separate the lower box. If we flip it over, just make sure you're orienting everything properly. This is going to be the top of the box. This is the recess where the shifter bolts into. We've got this little rubber isolator here that we'll later put on. And so what you'll need to do is pop out these little bushings and they are pre-greased. You can see down in there, there's some green grease in there. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and reverse the process, put this back on and then uh, we'll get it in the car. All right, you guys, once you get the rod swapped over, we're gonna use this alignment tool with the lower box out of the car. And it basically just makes sure everything is centered properly before mounting the lower box in your car. All right, you guys, the shifter is in the car. Check this out. That is the MGW flat stick with the uh, anodized. And JT hasn't even felt this shifter yet. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get this thing out on a test drive and uh, we can get a reaction from JT. So let's put the roof back on and, uh, and back out and give it a test drive. All right, you guys, we're gonna pull JT's car out. And like I said, we're gonna go on a little test drive. You get a cold start on a stock Z06 here. <laughs> I mean, even stock, these cars just sound so good. I also want to show you that uh, Laguna Blue in the sunlight here. We'll pull it up next to my C7. All right, guys, look at that. Look at that blue in the sun. Is that amazing or what? 
that color just looks so good so good so something i didn't point out on jt's car let's check it out carbon fiber front splitter and carbon fiber side skirts i'm telling you the spec on this z06 is awesome all right now let's go get jt's impression of that new shifter all right you guys we are in jt's car with the new shifter we're gonna see how this thing goes guys that does it for another video so glad we got the mgw flat stick in jt's laguna blue z06 and uh i think you saw jt's reaction yeah it really does change the entire driving experience of one of these cars again it's a constant contact point when you're driving the vehicle so if you can add some more rigidity there uh, make it feel a little bit more solid it makes the entire car feel that much more solid so if you guys are thinking about the mgw shifter it is kind of a a no-brainer, right? Probably one of the best upgrades you could do for the price Absolutely. in one of these cars. Absolutely, and you guys saw it. I was literally shifting from one finger. <laughs> the one finger shift, there you go. The JT Cars guys, one finger shift. Okay, if you don't follow JT, link down in the description, sub to Cars guys. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video or any of my other videos, you know you can always email me, team512garage at gmail.com. Smash the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss an episode. And uh, leave me some comments. You guys know I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time. See ya.